everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm Nicole Chantel. And if you like beauty videos, 31 days of Halloween and Friday vlogs, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and become part of my makeup family. With all that being said, let's jump right into this video. Hello my loves. So today we are going to do the makeup shopping tag. Karen C, if you guys don't know who she is, Go over, show her some love, let her know that you came from my channel over to hers. She is a fellow Canadian. She is awesome. I love her videos. I will leave her link to her channel and also to her video down below. And when I watched her video, I was like, oh my God, this is such a fun video to do. I am so going to do this. So there's a total of 10 questions, which I'm going to answer because I think it's going to be fun for you guys to get inside my makeup mind to truly know how it works and how I think about makeup. So the first question is, where do you shop for makeup? Well, I shop into my local Sephora, into Shoppers Beauty Boutique, and Walmart, and Lawton's, which is another drugstore. So those are my go-tos where I shop for makeup. Question number two is, what is your budget? High-end or drugstore purchases? Well, I would have to say for high-end, like, I set myself on a budget of $200. And then for drugstore prices, I would set myself on a budget of $100. And I definitely like watch myself when I'm buying products to make sure that I don't go over the two budgets that I set for high end and drugstore. Question number three is, do you shop more online or in store? Well, I would have to say that I shop, like it's 50-50. I love shopping online because I'm in my home, in my own comfort of my home. I don't have to go anywhere. I could sit down, have a glass of water, and scroll through Sephora's website and just go ahead, put that in my basket, and then it's delivered right to my doorstep. So I love that convenience that I really don't have to go out and shop in store and go out and drive there and all that stuff. But at the same time, I do like going to shop in store because I'm out interacting with people, socializing, and you know, I'm getting to look at products in person. So I would have to say it's 50-50, 50% online shopping and 50% in store. Question number four is, do you go makeup shopping with other people? And the answer is yes and no, because I do go shopping, like makeup shopping with my friends. I do go makeup shopping with my mother and my daughter. And then sometimes I just go by myself. Sometimes I just like to go and relax and look at all the products and take my time. But yet I do love going makeup shopping with my friends and my family as well, just to see what products they're going to buy. Question number five is, how do you talk yourself out of a purchase? Well, recently the Sephora VIB sale just ended and I actually had in my cart the La Mer, the loose powder, and I was really thinking about it and thinking about it and I was like, mm, you know, it's $130 Canadian, that's before tax, and I'm going to get 20% off. So, you know, we have 15% tax here, so really, technically, I would only be saving 5% when you look at it in that aspect. So I really thought about it, and I was saying to myself, okay, do I need it? That's the thing. I ask myself questions. Do I need it? Am I going to like it? Is my skin going to love it? And think about the price. So I ask myself these four questions all the time about products. And then in the end, I'm like, okay, if say the no side is higher than the yes side, then I completely talk myself out of the purchase. So I actually talked myself out of this purchase because when I really looked at it, I wasn't really going to save a whole lot on the powder. So I was like, I would just rather wait until I get gift cards and then I could put that money towards it. So that is how I talked myself out of that purchase. I will ask myself questions. And if the no side is higher, that means I don't need it. It's very easy to do. I definitely recommend that you guys do that. And if it sits in your cart also for like, say four or five days, and you haven't actually went ahead and purchased it yet, then you know you're not going to purchase it. You know you don't really want it. Because I find that if there's a certain product in there, and I'm like thinking about it a lot, then I'm like, okay, I need it. But then if I'm not thinking about it, and it's just sitting there, then I definitely talk myself out of that purchase completely. Question number six is, what makeup product is your favorite to buy? Hands down, eyeshadow palettes. 
I love eyeshadow palettes from bold colors to neutral colors. I just love eyeshadow palettes. They're so much fun. You can create so many looks with them. They never really get boring. You don't really get tired of eyeshadow palettes. So eyeshadow palettes are my favorite to buy. Question number seven is, what brand are you loyal to? What brand am I loyal to? I would definitely have to say ColourPop because I have such an obsession with ColourPop. I would have to say Anastasia Beverly Hills because I love, love that brand so super much. And I'm going to say also like for drugstore, besides high end, like I'm really loyal to Milani. I love Milani products from their lipsticks. Um, to their glosses, to their foundations and concealer. Love the concealer. Like the concealer is a holy grail concealer of mine. Absolutely love that concealer, the long wear one. Um, yeah, so it would be ColourPop, Anastasia Beverly Hills, and Milani. Question number eight is, what other things do you spend fun money on? Mm, what do I, fun money? Um, well, jewelry, clothing, but mostly I spend my money on makeup. I have such an addiction to makeup. Oh, and I also like to buy Funko Pops, as you can tell, my little Pennywise and Georgie, uh, Jack Skeleton, Maleficent, the evil queen from Snow White, and of course, Freddy Krueger. And I also went out and bought a Freddy Mercury one, which I'm so obsessed over. I don't have him up on my shelf yet, but really, yeah, so makeup, jewelry, but I love, love to spend fun money on Funko Pops. Question number nine is, who influenced you to buy the most makeup? Hands down, I would have to say Mel Thompson because that's where my obsession for ColourPop really came from. And also my La Mer Sheer Press Powder. She raves about this so, so much that I was like, okay, I took the plunge and I bought it. And she is so right about it. This is the perfect, perfect powder ever like ever um yeah she really influenced me to buy a lot and also my friend Demetra from breakup to makeups she really influenced me to buy a lot of makeup um like certain things she talks about i'm like ooh, i love that i'm gonna see if i could get that lipstick in a different color i really like how it applies so they are the two people that influenced me the most to buy makeup to buy products is mel thompson which if you guys haven't checked out her channel yet, you need to. She's totally awesome. And my friend Demetra from Breakups to Makeup. And the last question, number 10 is, what was your last purchase? My last purchase, I have it right here. I haven't even opened it yet or tested it out. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it's going to be a really good mascara. And it is by Milani and it's a new mascara. And it's called Highly Rated 10 in 1 Volume Mascara. I did purchase this at my local Walmart and it says 94% saw double lash thickness, 91% saw dramatic volume in one stroke, and 91% saw instant curl and lift in lashes. Really curious to see how well this is going to work. Um, I was planning on doing like a get ready with me and using this uh, mascara. And of course it's in the shade black. Really curious to see how well this is going to work. If you guys have this mascara, let me know in the comments down below. So you guys, that's it for the makeup shopping tag. I thought this was such a fun video to do, to sit down, to talk to you guys, to let you know how my makeup mind actually works and just answer these questions because it's so much fun. Always remember to have fun with makeup because that's what it's all about. If you guys have a channel, I go ahead and tag you. And if you do the video, let me know because I would love to hear your answers. Also, answer some of the questions down below and let me know the answers to them. I would love to hear everybody's answers because it would be so neat to see if there's some people that have the same answers and then there's going to be other people that have different answers or even have some of the same answers as me. That would be really interesting to know. Also, if you haven't already, go ahead and enter into my giveaway. Good luck to everybody that enters. I will have all that information down below and also the video to it as well for you guys to see what goodies you could win because there are some awesome goodies. Well, they're all awesome goodies. They're all my favorites. So good luck to everybody. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!